Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Ellendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out home practice routine. Thank you for joining me today. Our topic for today, rodeos. Rodeos. I, you know, I didn't know that there are rodeos in Canada. I guess I should have known that, but, but I didn't. But anyway, the topic is rodeos. Let's all say rodeos with intent. Ready? Rodeos. Again, speak out. Rodeos. And let's all smile with intent just for a second or two. Ready? Great job. All right, we're going to go through the speak out exercises. I have a video of Harvey to show you that I just think is hysterical. And if you're new to these sessions, Harvey is my first grandson. And uh, anyway, it's a really cute video. We also received a question about saliva and um, we're going to talk about that. We, we talk about interesting things on this session. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water with intent and then we'll get started. And after today's session, it is Thursday, so we will have our Parkinson sing-along and we hope that all of you will enjoy doing this. In fact, I would love on Thursdays for you to block out an hour We'll do 20 minutes of the speak out exercises and then you go hop on that Zoom call and participate in the Parkinson sing along. And if you can't participate in that live, we always put the recording up by the afternoon. Go ahead and chat too where it says nickname. Go ahead and type in your first name and where you're from. No password, no login, none of that required. We don't even save that information. It disappears by the end of the day. All right, let's start with the first speak out exercise. Here we go. May me my mo mo. Let's be deliberate. Ready? May me. Let's do it again. May me my mo mo. Project your voice forward. Ready? May me my mo mo. And let's do one more with even more intent. Ready? May me my mo mo. Very nice. Go ahead and take a sip of water. I'm going to show you this video of Harvey. I just think it's hysterical. Um, hold on one second and uh, hopefully you're not take your sip of water i don't want anybody to choke on their water because they start laughing but this is a very unique way to crawl and uh, it's also a good example of intent okay here we go I just think it's so funny. Let's watch one more time. When you come home from a hard day, it's just nice to watch those kinds of videos. Hopefully that made you smile. All right, speak out exercise number two, the ahs. Deliberately open your mouth wide and project the ah in front of you. Here we go. Uh, don't let it trail off. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, 
should be clear all the way through you shouldn't be yelling but you're just projecting your voice forward let's do it again uh, good let's do it again uh, A shorter one with intent. Uh, good. Go ahead and take a sip of water with intent and then we'll move on. Next, speak out exercise, the glides. Project out a steady ah, slowly glide up. Try to get all those little notes in there. Ready? Ah. Ah. Good. Let's do it again. Uh, uh, <laughs> on the way down, you don't want to drop your head or close your mouth. Stay confident the whole time. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Uh, uh. When you do your home practice, you usually do five of these glides. When you're working one-on-one -on -one with a speak out provider, you're probably doing 10 of them during your therapy sessions. Let's do one more with intent. Uh... Let's all take a sip of water with intent. All right. We're going to count to 10 forward and backward. We're not going to stop, although you'll take a breath whenever you need to. Don't think about the breathing. Just think about lifting and projecting every number over your computer. I say let those numbers fly over your computer. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now backward. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backward. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. 
five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Go ahead and take a sip of water. All right, we received a, um, a message, a question, and it says, I am having problems with choking on my own saliva. I have had a swallowing test, and it came out okay, but I choke often. <clears throat> so let me explain a couple things. Um, first of all, so I, I know a lot of people with Parkinson's think they have more saliva than everybody else in the world. And it's not that you have more saliva, but swallowing our saliva throughout the day is an automatic behavior. And automatic behaviors are highly dependent on dopamine. Anything, hopefully all of you have seen, have watched the Learn About Parkinson's webinar. You should be watching that at least once a year. And Elizabeth, will you please put the link? You can find the Learn About Parkinson's webinar on the home page of Parkinson Voice Project's website, parkinsonvoiceproject.org. So we explain a lot about automatic and intentional motor movements, but swallowing our saliva throughout the day is an automatic movement. We normally don't have to think about it. But now with Parkinson's, without enough dopamine, everything that used to be automatic is not automatic anymore. And that includes swallowing your saliva throughout the day. So you have to be more intentional about swallowing your saliva and not letting it accumulate so much that it ends up rolling on the, over the back of the tongue and then you're not prepared for it and you start choking. In the Speak Out Therapy program, your therapist should be working with you about building your awareness, not just building your awareness about speaking with intent, but also swallowing with intent and thinking about that saliva. So you heighten your awareness to when it's starting to accumulate in your mouth and you swallow with intent, okay? Now, if you're not having swallowing issues, if you're not aspirating, one little trick that a lot of my patients use is they chew sugar-free gum. When you chew gum, you just naturally swallow more often. So that's one little trick that maybe you know, you could chew the sugar-free gum again. If you're not aspirating, if we're not concerned about choking or anything like that, you chew the sugar-free gum just to make yourself swallow more often. You also become more aware of your mouth and what's happening there and you're swallowing more often. My other questions are, have you been through speak out therapy? And even more importantly, are you getting the speak out therapy the way it's supposed to be done? Everybody going through speak out therapy should be doing their speak out exercises twice a day, every day. So that's where we need to start. We need to become more aware of the saliva in our mouth and understand why it's happening. Okay, maybe we can chew gum. All right, to help with that, not when we're doing our speak out exercises, but other times throughout the day, we're going to chew some sugar-free gum. We're also going to work with a lot of intent, moving the mouth, exaggerating, working like crazy, doing the speak out exercises twice a day. That's where I would start. If you have tried all of that, you could talk to your doctor about a medication, but let me just explain. I don't want everybody running out and getting medication for this. If the medication is drying up the saliva, it dries up other things, <laughs> okay? We're not gonna go into detail, but you don't want that. Try to, to make it better, to improve it by swallowing more often, maybe chewing the gum and doing more speak out exercises. All right, let's move on to the reading. I hope that that helped. Let me know. And if you have any clinical questions related to speech or swallowing, just send an email to intent at parkinsonvoiceproject.org. All right, let me get to the reading. 
And for those of you that are new, I looked from the side because I have two screens in front of me. Another reminder that Parkinson's sing-along is right after this session, and our topic today is rodeos. Reading, when you're reading, okay, think about this. When you do the Oz and the glides, your mouth is open, okay? You're not really working the tongue and the other movements that help you, the other muscles that help you to control your saliva. So when you're, you're having trouble on this, you want to work really hard on the reading because that's getting the tongue to move in a bigger movement. I better explain something else, but let's do some practicing first. All right, ready? Read each one twice. The Houston Rodeo is in February and March. Again, the Houston Rodeo is in February and March. Next. Rodeos have bull riding and barrel racing. Again. Rodeos have bull riding and barrel racing. Use a lot of intent. Ready? Next one. You will see cowboys and cowgirls. Did you notice the girls is going in front of me? Read the sentence again. You will see cowboys and cowgirls. Good. Ready? There are rodeos in America and Canada. Again, there are rodeos in America and Canada. Are there other countries where there are rodeos? You can go ahead and chat and educate us. Let's go ahead, look at these pictures. Describe what you see with intent. Be very deliberate. Pretend that you're describing this picture to someone who can't see it. Go ahead, with intent. Describe this picture and the colors with intent. Take a sip of water while I explain one more thing about swallowing. Do you know how with Parkinson's, the, the gait, the steps can be smaller or the handwriting can be smaller? People don't always think about the tongue movement is smaller. So when you put food in your mouth or you have saliva in your mouth, your tongue moves to, to, to move the food and liquid from the front of the mouth to the back of the mouth. And so your tongue has to move in these big movements. But with Parkinson's, the movements can be tiny. And so what happens, it takes people a longer time to get the food or liquid to the back of the mouth in order to trigger the swallow. So when you are swallowing your saliva or swallowing anything for that matter, think about what you're doing and swallow with intent. Um, I had a patient who was eating and he said, food gets all over my mouth when I'm eating. It's because the tongue was moving in these small movements. And so whatever he was eating was falling in between his cheeks and things like that. So we practiced with a cookie, a couple cookies actually. And so what we said was the word for him, instead of chew with intent, it helped him more if I said chew aggressively. And so when he did that, and sure enough, he ate the cookies and nothing ended up, you know, in between his cheeks and the swallow was faster and it triggered better. So think about it. Chew with intent. Chew aggressively. Really think about it and it will, believe me, it will help you. All right. Wow, we're running out of time. Ready? Let's do these twice. Gula ganga ga again. Gula ganga ga and next. Ku ka mangu ka. Ku ka mangu ka. Exaggerate. Move those muscles. Ready? Gangla. 
Dangla. And the last one. Kukla. Kukla. I do want to do the bonus reading. Uh, one more thing. If you did not receive our newsletter by email yesterday, we send an update once a month. Go ahead and fill out your information. Well, contact us. Send an email to Intent. If you, if you are on our mailing list and you didn't get it, let us check on that for you. Or um, Elizabeth will post the link to join our mailing list. There's good information in there and a great lecture on swallowing. You want to get the email. We only send it out once a month. All right, here's the bell. All right. I, I want us to read this with intent, everybody. Ready? The Calgary Stampede is an annual rodeo exhibition and festival held every July in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The 10-day event, which bills itself as the greatest outdoor show on earth, attracts over 1 million visitors per year and features one of the world's largest rodeos. Okay, another reminder that the sing-along is today. The more intent you use when you're doing these exercises, the better it will help your speech, your swallowing, including your ability to control, to better control the saliva. Heighten your awareness. Heighten your awareness about when you're speaking with intent and not speaking with intent. Heighten your awareness to when you're walking with intent and catch yourself when you're not walking with intent. Become very deliberate and very aware of your movements. Thank you so much for joining me today. Guess who's going to be with you tomorrow? Brett from the University of Utah, so you don't want to miss it. Thank you.